All right, this is going to be a video covering my mini excavator hay spear. <clears throat> this is a machine, this is a tool that we built for our machine that um, was kind of needed because the tractors get hauled out on our clearing jobs and stuff, as you'll see in some later videos, and as you've already seen in our yard clearing video. Okay, this thing is built of an old rock ripper that we broke the shank on. And I, I welded a hay spear to it and then welded two stabilizer spears to it so we could use it. I have also included all the pricing in this video of everything that I of everything that you would need to build one from scratch if you didn't already have scrap metal, you know, and just random mobility spell cut out your own bucket ears and, and all that. Okay, so as you can see, I mean there there's there's different things here I've posted on here. Um <coughs> If you do have a mini excavator and have a need to to feed hay every now and then with it, or you know your tractor gets hauled out all the times in between, this right here would be a nice tool to have. Um, I mean, I, I'm glad I built it. And the good thing about this deal is, is with the 43 inch spear, you can put it you can put it inside your boom where you can curl into the back of a bale and scoop it up and hold it inside the boom or you can spin it around and put it out the front like you seen in the video mango um works really good uh, that is a our machine is a six or a seven thousand pound machine with the reduced counterweight for zero tail swing and it handles it fine as you'll see at the end of the video Tracking across uneven terrain and muddy terrain, and I mean, handles it fine. You can pick it up, dump it in a ring. You can go from full height to all the way down. And that bale is a four by five, around a thousand pounds. And the, like I said, the machine handles it perfectly fine, perfectly stable, has no problems with it. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's a great, I mean, uh, the the only thing that I would do differently if I built it is the spear on mine is approximately seven inches down from the top plate. I would probably recommend going about a foot, just because it makes it it would make it more less tipsy on the bale because you're not as your spears ain't as close. But it it um you know on like less the bale ain't the bale less tipsy. <laughs> So see right here i also included the complete list of everything you'll need in the quantity and the sizes of the plates and stuff and um so i mean yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoy and have a great day thanks